Okay, beautiful beings, I got a piece of scrap. I got some ribbon, place and time from Joann's. I showed you, I got this on clearance in my Joann haul video. And I cut it out like this. I'm gonna put it on my scrap. Okay, I wanna make sure I have enough for my scrap. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. this out and voila but I'm just gonna make it a little bigger than this so I'm gonna have to cut them down okay I don't want it that big I mean you can have them that big I probably can have them that big I made a video on this in my when I was doing my Halloween fall journal and guess what I wasn't recording the whole time and I thought it was because I never shut my camera off when I went to sew something so when I come back I actually turn my camera off and I thought I was recording the whole time but we can make these ones bigger the other ones I had fitted just perfectly for what I wanted them to be used for but these ones we can make bigger so we can put them in a different Halloween pocket file okay now we're going to need some fabric and we're gonna need some lace. And this is the little bit I have left over from the other that I made the other pockets. So we're going to, and we're gonna need some creepy cloth. So I'm gonna go find more lace and I'll be right back. Okay, beautiful beings. I got all my scraps around me. And the camera is going <laughs> and we're going to do one at a time but i wanted to show you the, with the creepy cross you probably figured this out but if we're using it for embellishments and little pockets you can pull it apart okay it comes apart so you get more okay just so you know that you probably did know that but i just wanted to point that out all right let's start with the moon what we're going to do is we're going to take some creepy cloth, but I want black behind it because this is blue. So we want to hide that and make sure you have a spot for your fray because you can use that at the end. This fray you take off. Okay. So we're going to fray this. I'm going to set it aside because it will get mixed up with all your stuff and it will be sticking to it. Take the glue, just put it down the side like this. Take our cloth, make sure it's going the right way. And we're gonna stick that on there. We want it over the edge a little bit, like that. And then I'm gonna put this here to see what we want next. And we're gonna need more because these are bigger. So I could have done a bigger piece, but that's all right. Maybe we'll put some over here. Here's a nice big piece. Make sure it's sticking out over the edge. This is going to need lots of covering. All right, we're going to take a piece of lace real quick, burn off the phrase. Take a long enough. Might have to do it all the way around on these. because of that blue, I ran out of black scrap and I want to use these scraps up. I'm 
That fits in there well now. It's covering all the sides. Now, we need some lace over here to equal that out. What lace did I use? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna put this all the way down, I think. Yep, just to use it up. Just to use it up. And we're gonna have Okay. That's what we got so far. Now we want some creepy cloth, of course. And I'm going to make sure it's not folded over, and it is. And we're going to cut a thin piece out all the way down. Take my layer of this before I forget to show you and go like that. We can probably pull these out. It just keeps everything from fraying and unraveling. That's why I do that. Okay. Sit down. I don't think we need to come in anymore. And we did. That's good. All right, what else can we add? I have these little bits. Cut that in half. Put one real fast. That's why you do it really fast. I don't care if it's burnt, because after all, it is a Halloween, Halloween one. Okay, I just blew the other piece far away from me. No, I didn't. There was something else that flew. Just pull apart. You want to blow this stuff off your project. And we're going to glue this maybe over here. Kids. Please don't play with lighters. <laughs> Have your parent help you. Then we'll glue this one over here. All right. What else? What else can we add to this? What do I got laying around? I don't want to overdo it. Kind of want to hide that I think over there. I mean it looks fine the way it is, but you can still see that blue a little bit. I probably should glue that down. We're gonna glue this down. So I'm gonna do take some glue. You don't have to do the middle at all, just do the edges. Say that one's done. Any more lace? this least. Might, I think I might add some gray. I have this. 
See how there's fray? I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this to see that. See that fray sticking up right there? That's what I don't like. I don't like that at all. That's why I take the lighter and do that. Okay. Stick some of this in there, here and there. Just to mix it up a little bit. Everything's sticking to me. I'm trying to keep everything in its spot so nothing sticks to the other something. Right. See? And I got fray sticking to my nails because I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Of these see that's why I do the layer thing I don't like that I don't like it at all and this is really good on black because it doesn't sure show up it burns but it does on other stuff so you got to be really careful because it will show burn marks but for this if it does like on the gray I don't care because it's for a Halloween journal so it kind of goes with it. Holy, I'm already 24 minutes in. All right, let's lift this up. Make sure I got it where I want it. And I forgot to lift this up. here for that. And then maybe it's too thick now. I don't want that. Here, let's cut it in half. It's too big. Too big. It's going to cut down too much. I got st sticking to my fingers. Let's put it right here. One of it somewhere. Like that. Seems like it needs something more. Let's pull that out. Trim that. Make sure it's tucked back in there. Save your fray because this is why pull it apart and then stick it. Make sure you don't have no glue on your hands and then just go like this. And if you have any creepy cloth laying around like these little bits, just throw it in there. Okay, make sure you have nothing sticky on your hands and take some glue. Dab it. That. And then <laughs> it's sticking to me. It's really sticking to me. It's not sticking. Alright, I'm going to have to wash my hands. Okay, we forgot creepy cloth. <laughs> Now I can get that in there. Make sure it sticks. Let's just do that. And then I'll move it so it sticks up a little bit. Okay. We didn't add no creepy cloth, so let's add just a tiny bit of creepy cloth. Now, I'm gonna do this one, but we're gonna do this one different. We're gonna use some of this. I 
I mean, you can do these any way you want. The ideas are endless. Whatever you have will work. And it doesn't even have to be Halloween. If you have a picture and you want to do this around it, you can do the same thing. Just get a piece of scrap and start going things around the edges and then stick your picture in the middle of it, okay? It can be for anything. Easter, everyday things, flower, whatever you want. We still need a little bit around, so we need something else sticking out. Lace, of course lace. Here, let's use this up. I got two strands of it up there. Let's use this up. I'm gonna put creepy cloth right there. Got it for the creepy cloth. I want that to come up a little. To even that out there. piece is going to glue down and not fall off. Right. Now I think we can glue this down. There we go. And make sure we got the hourglass the right way. This will help hold the creepy cloth down. You can see a little blue right there, so I'm gonna pull that out. Or that one. And I think that one's like just the way it is is good. And I kind of want to do more now because I got all these scraps left over. <sighs> This video is already, oh, it's only 12.24. I thought it said it was, oh, I started over. The other one was 25, so I better stop. Okay, so this is what we got. This one. And we got the moon phases one. And if you wanted to, Take some of this that's mixed in with this and add it to one of them. Which we'll see. This one is snake. Sure, fit them all in there for you. But I kind of like them the way they are. Oh, I kind of want some over that. So let's pull some of this apart. Our fray and our creepy cloth and put a little bit together because that kind of needs hid right here and we can stick that in there like that and then this is too big cut this in half put a little glue here and stick that piece down there what do you want it? Like that. There. And I think these ones are pretty much finished. Now we have Halloween pockets. You can go it this way and over here and have a tuck for a corner. You can just glue the bottom and have a tuck to go in both ways or you can just glue 
the top and have it for a top tuck. Okay? I gave you a close up good enough. So you can see all the details. Okay? There you go. I hope everyone has a happy Halloween.